So, we learn how can we, we multiply two binomials with each other. It could be by the distributive property. It could be by the table, as we said yesterday. And the third way that can we use to multiply two binomial, binomials with each other, we called it phi, whereas F stands for first term, first terms, O for outer term, outside or outer terms, I for inner terms, and L for the last terms. So its name is phi, F. O, I, L. First, outside, inner, and last. What does that mean? That means if you have now a 5x minus 3 times 2x plus one. Now, the first, what does it mean? Look at the first binomial here. Okay? The first one. What is the first monomial? 5x. See, wait, please. I want to clear, to write this one in another color. To little understand what I'm talking about. Here is 2x plus 1. So, now all of you, I want you now to look at the first uh, binomial in the white color. Which is the first? Here, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about F or first. First, that's mean first in the first monomial, and first in the second, uh, uh, sorry, first in the, the first binomial, and first in the second binomial, in the second binomial too. So first, it's mean first, first, first here, and the first in the second one. Then I multiplied them with each other. Five X times two X, Ten x squared. Ten x squared. Thank you. This is the meaning of first. Now, then outside. What does it mean? Now, the outside. This me. That's mean. That's. I multiply. The, uh, the outside, that's mean, um, um, like what? Yeah, and look at these two binomials. What is the outside here? That's from the right. And the outside, that's from the left. Yeah, and the sides, the outsides. Yeah, and the sides from the left and the side from the right. Okay? They are outside, they are out. Not, in, not are between them. That are closing with each other. They are outside. Like, okay, I will give you. Now, all of us know that when you are at a class, you are, uh, imagine that you are sitting now, Farahir, uh, Basmahir. Basmala here and Yara here. Now, if I told you the first, who are the, look at now all here you are sitting. The first gears, the first, what does it mean? That's mean here. Farah and Basma. They are the first. The first from this table and the first from this table. Is it clear the meaning of first? Yes. Yes, miss. Yes. Okay. So I yes. say now first. O I L. First, that's mean the first 
from this side, I'm talking now, they are, I go in the same direction. First uh, from this table and the first from this table. This is mean F, first. Oh, that's mean the author. Now, ima now here you have a wall. Imagine that you are in your class. Here there's a, there's a wall and here there's an, another wall. And Farah and Basma sitting beside this wall. Basma and Yara, Basma, sorry, and Yara in the second wall. So the point, that's mean what? That's mean the first. That's if I am look at the, at the left here and I will look at the left in the same, in the both disk, they are calling first. Inner, what does it mean? Inner, that's mean they are close to each other. Basma and Basmala. If Basma want pen, Basmala can give her the pen without moving. This Basma and Basmala, they are inner. And then the last. Who's the last now? The last, that's mean. The last, what does it mean? What is the, if Basma, uh, Farah is here? And I told you Basma is here. The, the, the last mean that the last, sorry, the last in the first disk and the last in the last disk, in the last of both of terms. So I will repeat. First, what does it mean by first? First, first, that's mean the first on each disk. Farah and Basma. The out, what does it mean? The out, that's mean. They who are sitting outside. Oh, yani, I mean, he is Yeah, so they are Farah and Sar. They are out on the beside the walls. So they are Farah and Yara. Who are in our, now look at Allah, outside, yeah, and they are farther each or each other. They have a big distance between them. The farthest distance, Farah and Yara. We are all, we say them outer. In inner, they are sit close to each other. They are Basma and Basmala. We call them now inner. The last, what does it mean the last? The last from the first disc times the last from the last disc. Come back now to the numbers. In these numbers here now, we have five X minus three times two X plus one. Now, Let's start now one by one. Let's start with the easier, and then we will go to the harder. First, what does it mean by first terms? First terms, that's mean. F is go to the first terms. Oh, it's mean, oh, it's mean that first terms. Who are the first terms? This one and this one. Is it right? First, first. Yes. So, first terms. It's mean the first but monomial in the purple and the first monomial in the yellow. Then I will multiply them with each other, which is 10 x squared. Then O. What's the meaning by O? O, it's outside terms. Who are the outside terms? Outside terms, that's mean they are sitting one on the right and one, yani I mean one on the, uh, in the right and one in the left, and they have a big distance between them. The farthest one, the farthest five one. Five X and one, which is five X. So, the farthest one, 
are sitting to each other. They are five, sorry. They are five X and one. This means what outside terms. So now for the first term, did you understand it? The yes. first terms. Yeah. Now, the outside yes, terms. Outside terms, you mean the outside from here and the outside from the other binomial. That means 5x times 1, which is what? Which is 5x. Now, inside terms. If 5x and 1 are outside, so who will be now inside? Negative 3 and 2x. Yeah, and 2x. And this one, yes, thank you. Negative 3 and 2x. They are inner. They are inside here. They are sitting close to each other. But the 5x and the 1, they are sitting farthest to each other. So... The inner now is negative 3 and 2x. So I will multiply them. I will say now it's negative 6x. Now, what's the meaning by the last terms? The last terms, what does it mean? Negative 3 and 1. The last term, yes. I'm meaning by it the last term in the first binomial and the last term in, this, in the second binomial which is negative three times one, and the answer is negative three. Now, if you focus on it, we, say, we are seeing, uh, oh, yani, you see that I'm um, multiplying each term with each other. Like what did we, we did we do in the distributive property? This is the third way, we called it FOIL way, that we multiplied the two, two binomials number with each other. Then after that, we simplify them. We will say it's 10 x squared plus 5x minus 6x is negative x minus 3. Let's have now another example. In this one here, no, we have a plus eight times a minus two. Now, I will repeat now. The way is its name is foil. F f first. So, this is uh, these are the first. Is it clear now? Step by step. F, it's me first. These are the first. O, it's mean outside. Who are the outside? Who are sitting farthest to each other? This one and this one. A and negative two. Thank you. Now, who are sitting inner, inside? Eight and A. Eight and A. Yes. Now, who are sitting the last? Negative two. Yes. Thank you. So now I multiplied all of the terms. Let's repeat it now. Yeah. Here we have A plus eight times a minus two. So the first one now, we multiplied f, it's mean first. a and a, which is a squared. So it will be a and a squared. And the answer now, I wrote it in here, which is a squared. This is? Okay, first. Then F O O 
It means outside. A. Who are the outside? A and negative two. And negative two. And the answer here, what is the multi if I multiply A times negative two, what I will negative get? Two two A. Negative two uh, A. The third step. I, that's mean inner. Where's the eight, inner? Eight and eight. Eight and eight. eight and eight, thank you. And if you multiply them, what you will get? Eight, 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 e
negative 5x. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Then the inner. Who are sitting beside Who each is other? Four and four and four x. Four and four x. Thank you. Four and four x. Which is? If you want to find them. Sixteen x. Sixteen x. Thank you. Sixteen x. Now the last one. And four and negative five. Thank you. Five. Negative twenty. Negative twenty teacher. Four yes. And negative five. They are negative twenty. Then I will now gather them with each other. Here we have four x squared. Then here we have two x's. I have to simplify them. I will pick one of the x's. Then I will add negative 5 with 16. It will be plus. Positive 11x. Thank you. Minus what? 20. Minus 20. Thank you. This is now for the foil method. Now, if you want uh, oh, add the quiz. If I ask you to multiply the binomials, use the distributive or the table or the foil as you prefer. If I told you to multiply using the foil, you must use only the foil method. Okay, miss. Okay, teacher. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. In the okay, teacher. In the brief previous lesson, we learned how to multiply monomial with a trinomial and monomial with binomial. In this lesson, we learn how can we multiply binomial with binomial. And now we are learning now how can we multiply trinomial with binomial. Like this one here, 3x squared plus x minus 5 times 2x minus 7. Before now, I told you how to multiply these two numbers. I want now to remind you, if you have this number here, 342 multiplied by 16. Like this, the first one, we have the three digits. And the second one, we have two digits. Is it right? Yes. Yes, teacher. So now, the first step, what I have to do? As you remember. Multiply ones with ones, tens with tens. Yes, no, so I mean... the first step, I will multiply. X ones with... with one. And I will say it's a 12. Then, the second step, I will multiply I will... ones to... But with four now, then I say six times four is it 24, sorry, plus one, it's a 25. Then the last step, I will multiply six now with the hundreds. So it's like I distribute a six in the, in the ones and tens and hundreds. Six times three, 18 plus two, 20. The second step, we put and zero. zero. Then we multiplied now the tens with ones. I mean all the digits. Now I will with repeat the... it with two, then with two, four, three, two, then with three. Four, three. Then you say now two, four, three. After that you add. Okay now this is for multiplying okay. hundreds with tens or three digits with two digits. Today now, since we are grade eight, we are talking about three monomials with two monomials, or we will name it with trinomial with binomial. So if you have now three X squared plus, I want to clear here now.
3x squared plus x minus 5. I want now to multiply them with 2x minus 7. I will order them like how I multiplied the 342 times 60. Then, since we start from the ones, I will start here also from the ones. Where's the ones here? Oh, we prefer to add these ones. Negative 7. Negative 4 and negative. So I will multiply. This is R now, the first one. Negative 7. As we did, the first step, we multiply negative 7 with 5. Then we multiply negative 7. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Here, we multiply first negative 7 with 3x squared, then negative 7 with x, then negative 7 with 5. This is the first step. Then negative 7, you multiply it with the highest power, then the lowest, then the constant. So let's multiply them now. Negative 7 times 3x squared. It will be negative 21x squared. 21x squared. Don't forget, you have to write them around the answer. Um, you have, sorry, you have to write the answer under 3x squared. The second step, negative 7, now times x. Negative 7x. Negative 7x. Thank you. Then, negative 7 times negative 5. Negative Don't forget the signs, okay? Positive. 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 35. Yeah. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. It's clear. Yes. 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 Now, yes, the second step, I will remove. Now go to what? I will go now to the 2x. Positive 2x. And I will do the same. I will multiply it first with x cubic and then with x and then with 5. So I multiply now 2x with 3x, and then 2x with x, and 2x with negative 5. Yeah. Now 2x with 3x squared, it will be what? 6x. 6x, 6x, 6x squared. Squared? Yes, 6x. X, no, no cubic. Uh, no cubic. Cubic, thank you. Thank you. It will be So, I'm sorry, yeah. So, the answer here is 2,6x cubic. Now, don't forget, you have to route them from the highest to the lowest. That's why I, I uh, translate or I uh, moved the red, for the red here, the answer, to the right. So, 2x times 3x squared, it has to be 6x cubic. I wrote it here at the first. Then 2x times x. 2x times uh, x. 2x cubic. cubic. The square, sorry. Then 2x times negative 5. 
Negative 10x. Negative 10x. Negative 10x. Then at the last, now I will simplify. I will add them. Look at here. 6x cubic. Plus nothing. So it will be what? Um, 6x cubic. And here, imagine that there's a 0. Then, 21x squared plus 2x squared. It will be 23x squared. Thank you. 23x squared. Negative 7x minus 10x. I will take one of the x's and I will add the coefficients. It will be? Negative 17x. Thank you. And then positive 35. So because of that now, my final answer, it will be 6x cubic minus 23x squared minus 17x plus 35. Is it clear now? Yes, teacher. Oh. Yes, teacher. But this yes, teacher. Yes. I moved it to the right because the greatest power is three, so I will put it. Oh, oh. Hmm. And teacher, yes. is the question? Some oh, hello. Oh. No, see. Um, hello. Uh, be if you see. Every time, if you see that the highest power here is squared and the highest power here is x, so it must have a cubic. So be, be, make a space for it at the first. Next time I will have a problem. I will have an example. We will solve it now. So teacher, if the question itself wasn't writ written in the standard form, I must prepare. Yes, you have to write them in the standard form. It will be easy for you. And later right. on, you have to simplify it. But if you simplify it from the first, it will be easy. Mm -hmm. And don't like what we did in the uh, in the last grades that we put the hundreds up and the tens down. The more digits up and the lowest digits down. Here is the same. The trinomial up. And the binomial down. Hello. If you switch them, if you change the order, you will get the same answer. But it's but easy for you to want to put the trinomial up and the binomial down. Okay. Now let's have this one here. Two x squared minus three x plus one. I have to multiply it by x minus 3. So the first step here now. The first step, what is the highest grade it will be? Do we have a x cubic? Yes. Yes, if yes. you multiply yes. them. We must have an x cube. Let's see now. So the first step now, let's put 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. And you have to multiply it now with x minus 3. Now, the first step as we did. We have to multiply the negative 3 times 1. The negative 3 times 3x, the negative 3 times 2x squared. No. It doesn't matter if I start from the like negative three multiplied by one or let's, negative three. Yeah, by let's one. do it now. Let's do it now. Yes, we'll have the same answer. Now negative three. The first step by one 
then by 3x, then by this one here. Negative 3 times 1. Negative 3. Negative 3. But negative you have three. to write it from the here. Negative 3 times negative 3x. Um, positive 9x. Positive 9x. Um, Thank you. And negative 3 times 2x squared. Um, equal um, negative six x. x negative six x squared negative six x squared now let's go now to the x now let's multiply x x times one X. X. Uh, Don't forget, you have to put the answer under X. X times negative 3X. X negative 3X cubic. Negative 3X squared. Squared. Teacher, what is the difference between cubic and squared? Because I get confused. Please. Squared to the power 2. Cubic to the power 3. Okay, got it. Okay, yeah. Then, and don't forget the signs, please. Then you have to multiply x now, but with 2x squared, which it will be? It will be 2x to the power of x. 2x to the power of 3. Or to the power of 3. Okay, we finished now. Now we simplify them and write the answer. 2x cubic, keep it as it is. It's the same. Two then X here, cubic. take one of them and then add the coefficients. Negative 6 minus 3 equals negative, negative 9. 9. And here, take the x as 